Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is still Monday, November the 5th, and it's 9 o'clock p.m. And I'm going to do part two <clears throat> of my series on uh, information about the New Age movement. How you can recognize it and know if something you're doing or looking into or have been in or just wondering about want to help somebody else about it or you want to know for sure someone you know is doing new age and they don't know it okay this might help you help them all right here we go with part two this is a website called reasons for jesus and this first part i'm going to read is short and it's showing anton levey with a snake Ugh. and a lady doing yoga Yoga is a great big clue that you're stumbled upon something in the new age. It shows her with the chakras all lit up. And there's tarot cards. There's a circle here. I saw this picture when I was looking for a, a what do you call it, a custom thumbprint, you know, picture for your video. This was on there and his picture was on there. All right, I'm going to move on. This article is written by Stephen Ban Cars, B A N C A R Z, May 13th, 2016. Under the heading of World Religions New Age. All right. <clears throat> I recently made a video going through the history of the New Age movement and proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is satanic and Luciferian in its roots. And this isn't just my opinion. Anton LaVey, the father of modern Satanism, accused the New Age movement of stealing its Ideas and Themes from Satanism. Quote, In the scores of books lining the shelves of New Age bookstores, there are instructions for guided meditation, creative visualizations, out-of-body experiences, getting in touch with your spirit guides, Fortune telling by cards, crystal balls, or the stars. What if Satanists reclaimed these for their own dark purposes and integrated them into rituals dedicated to the devil where they rightfully belong? New Agers have freely drawn upon all manner of satanic material adapting it to their own hypocritical purposes. But in truth, all New Age labeling is, again, trying to play the devil's game without using his infernal name. Infernal is capitalized in this quotation by Anton LaVey, quoted in Church of Satan. B. Barton, page 107. Okay. As it turns out, the New Age was originated and popularized by a 32-degree Freemason and Satanist named Helena Blavatsky. I mentioned her, a Russian immigrant, uh in part one madame this is a quote now madame blavatsky dot 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 stands out as a fountainhead the fountainhead of modern occult thought and was either the originator and or popularizer of many of the ideas and terms which have a century later been assembled within the New Age movement. 
the Theosophical Society, which she co-founded. Theo means God. Okay, it could be a capital G like theology, study of God, God-like things, or it could be little g as in many gods or us. We are our own God. That's New Age. Okay. Let's see, where was I? The Theosophical Society, which she co-founded, has been the major advocate of occult philosophy in the West and the single most important avenue of Eastern teaching to the West. This New Age movement is Eastern religion, which is all uh, worshiping false gods, has been brought to the West, Europe and the U.S., as the New Age movement. See, I told you earlier, in part one, it isn't really new at all. Okay. Now, that quote that ended with uh, Eastern Teaching to the West was written by Gordon Melton, Jerome Clark, and Aidan A. Kelly, editors of New Age Almanac, Detroit, Michigan, Gale Research Incorporated, 1991, page 16. Hmm, a New Age Almanac. How about that? They got their own almanac. Blavatsky has said in her work, The Secret Doctrine, quote, in this case, it is but natural, even from the dead letter standpoint, dash, to view Satan, the serpent of Genesis, as the real creator and benefactor, the father, capital F, of spiritual mankind, capital S, spiritual mankind, unquote. Satan, the enemy of God, is in reality the highest divine spirit. And that is in quotes. Lucifer has even made his way into the Spirit Science YouTube series. Spirit Science YouTube series. The New Age movement was started by Satanists, popularized by Luciferians, and teaches us the same lie that Satan told Eve in the garden. We can become like God. See here for a more comprehensive article on the history of the New Age movement. Let's take a dive into the history of the New Age movement and see whether or not this is something we want to be involved with. It's not. I will click on the words, see here. Takes us to another article on the same site, Reasons for Jesus. Anton LaVey tells the New Age to give Satan his religion back. Satanic spirituality exposed. It's pretty bizarre. This is by Stephen Bancars. There are few people that have lived on earth that have been more passionate about Satanism and the occult than Anton LaVey. He has been called, quote, the Black Pope, unquote. Do they even know there really is a Black Pope? That's me asking that. And the father of Satanism, because he is the one who founded the Church of Satan. 
and brought it to the Western world as an organized religion. He is the author of the Satanic Bible, along with four other classic Satanic books, teaching people everything from basic Satanic principles to Satanic magic. He also has an extensive background in the occult. In fact, he was the founder of the Order of the Trapezoid, where he used to give presentations on the occult and paranormal research, which he later decided to turn into the Church of Satan. So, the Church of Satan was birthed out of his interest and affiliation with the occult. Now, this part of the article is titled Anton LaVey on the New Age. After becoming a Christian and digging deeper into the New Age, I went out and bought the Satanic Bible for research purposes, which I since thrown out, and gave it a quick read. I was amazed at how many parallels there were between the New Age and Satanic Ritual and Philosophy. Satanic Ritual? I won't get into that. You can research that, but it's gross and disgusting. It makes grown men throw up and run out of rooms screaming like a little girl. Y'all are sick! And ended up dead three months later. Yeah, that was that was the leader of uh, Hugo Chavez, leader of Venezuela, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> it just sounded like a slightly darker version of the exact same topics. Man, the age of Aquarius, the five elements. And the pentagram, which is the five-pointed star turned upside down where it's pointing downward. Lucifer as the personification of enlightenment. There's another New Age word, enlightenment. Thoth, T-H-O-T-H. It's got a... Well, I can click on it. I will. Let's see what it... The computer is dragging really slow tonight. If I think of it, I'll look it up and put it in the description box. God, Thoth, is probably the one that said this. God is man, and man is God. Right. Like any of us could create this whole earth and all the stars and the sun and the moon. and the Yeah, right. Spirit guides. Pantheism, which is a belief in many gods, like Japan, they have so many gods. It's, I looked it up, there's more than a million, a billion, there's a whole bunch. Sensual indulgence, sensual indulgence, spiritual rebirth through studying the mysteries. Ah, yes, we need to learn more about the mysteries. The all-seeing eye, we all know that that's New Age, that's the Illuminati, that's the shadow government, that all-seeing eye, yeah, that's of Satan. Being your own redeemer and savior through enlightenment. There's that word again. I was amazed to find out that the New Age is no different from Luciferian, and satanic philosophy. Thank you, Lord, for leading me to this site. This guy has done the research for me, and I'm just regurgitating his research. Where was I? I was amazed to find out that the New Age is no different from Luciferian and satanic philosophy coming straight from the satanic Bible itself. I will continue to pull together research proving that each of these topics are satanic, but it was nice to know that Anton LaVey did some of the work for me 
by making a passive aggressive remark about how the new age stole the devil's religion in this this is a quote in the scores of books lining the shelves of new age bookstores there are instructions for guided meditation creative visualizations out-of-body experiences, getting in touch with your spirit guides, fortune-telling. I think this was uh, part of the first short article. It sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Uh, fortune-telling by cards, crystal balls, or the stars. What if Satanists reclaimed these for their own dark purposes and integrated them into rituals dedicated to the devil where they rightfully belong? New Agers have freely drawn upon all manner of Satanic material, adapting it to their own hypocritical purposes. But in truth, all New Age labeling is again trying to play the devil's game without using his infernal name and that was by Anton LaVey quoted in the Church of Satan B. Barton page 107 yeah I think that was included in the first little part I read so according to a lifetime occultist and the founder of Satanism the new age is just a relabeling Satanism without having to use the name of Satan and New Age practices should be reclaimed by Satanists and dedicated to the devil to whom they belong why would he say this Anton LaVey why would he say that what the New Age does is mix in satanic occultic practices with a message of love now listen to this if you're still with me with a message of love unity ding 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 there's a big word unity let's all unify let's all be one self-help self-esteem and positivity we have to remain positive the power of positive thinking that was a book this turns Satanism into something morally appealing enough to be digested by the soft-hearted and captivating enough to be explored by anyone who is genuinely looking for a deeper meaning in life And this is not simply me quoting one guy and being a sensationalist. As we will read below, the, new, the entire New Age movement was founded by a 32nd degree Freemason and a theistic Satanist who praised Satan as being God. And her picture is here. Blavatsky. The whole New Age movement was founded by a theistic Satanist. Helen Blavatsky has been called the mother of the New Age. She is an occultist and spiritualist from the 19th century who founded the Theosophical Society, which was an unsect body of seekers after truth capital T let me read that again she is an occultist and spiritualist from the 19th century who founded the Theosophical Society which was quote an unsect body of seekers after truth who endeavor 
to promote brotherhood and strive to serve humanity, unquote. This sounds a little bit like the New Age. As new religious movements research specialists from the University of California, Dr. J. Gordon Melton said, No single organization or movement has contributed so many components to the New Age movement as the Theosophical Society. It has been the major force in the dissemination of occult literature in the West in the 20th century. Unquote. And that came from the New Age Encyclopedia, 1990, pages 458 to 461. Learning anything yet? He has also said, Madame Blavatsky stands out as the fountainhead of modern occult thought, which was either the originator and or popularizer of many of the ideas and terms which have a century later been assembled within the New Age movement. That was something that I read in the first part. Theosophy, according to Wikipedia, quote, refers to systems of esoteric philosophy concerning or seeking direct knowledge of presumed mysteries of being and nature particularly concerning the nature of divinity, theosophy is considered a part of the broader field of esotericism, referring to the hidden knowledge or wisdom that offers the individual enlightenment and salvation we need to be careful, brothers and sisters, of how deep we go for hidden knowledge. And I'm not talking about studying the books that were removed from the Bible. Hidden knowledge. And where does it come from? And how are people getting it? Through What's the word I used in the first video? Divinate, not divination. Oh gosh, my brain must be, my brain is always tired. I have no excuse. All right. Okay, the society taught everything you could possibly imagine that could fall under the umbrella of the new age. Luciferians, Ascended Masters, Ancient Egypt, Hermeticism, Hinduism, Mysticism, Scientism, Astrology, Sacred Math, Enlightenment, Spiritualism, Chakras, Atlantis, and every other New Age topic was taught by her and was promoted the society she started. Uh, they must have left out the word by and was promoted by the society she started. Between 1887 and 1997, over 2,800 journals were published in the Theosophical magazine she started called Lucifer. Let's see where I'm at in time. 24 minutes. All right, I'll go ahead and read this part. This is a little excerpt from that magazine called Lucifer. 
and it's dated September 15th, 1887. All right, I got to lean close because it's, the print is about this, this big. Okay. It's volume one, London, September 15th, 1887, number one. What's in a name? Why the magazine is called Lucifer. What's in a name? Very often, there is more in it than the profane is prepared to understand. If you hear my doggy snoring. <laughs> he fell asleep. He's been doing that lately and sneezing. I've been praying over him. I've been rebuking curses and praying over my dog. He don't usually sneeze or snore. Anyway, I'll move on. Very often there is more in the profane than the profane is prepared to understand or the learned mystic to explain it is an invisible secret no let me back up it is an invisible secret but very potential influence that every name carries about with it and quote leaveth wherever it goeth unquote Carlyle thought that quote there is much, nay, almost all, in names, unquote. Another quote, could I unfold the influence of names, which are the most important of all clothings? I were a second great Trismegatus, he writes. That doesn't make any sense. Next paragraph. The name or title of a magazine started with a definite object. Uh, it's just going on about why. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see the word Christian. Let me go ahead and read it. The name or title of a magazine started with a definite object is, therefore, all important. For it is, indeed, the invisible seed grain which will either grow to be an all-over shadowing tree on the fruits of which must depend the nature of the results brought about by the said object or the tree will wither and die. Who said anything about it? Oh, it's to be an overshadowing tree. Okay. The fruits of which must depend on the nature of the results brought about. See how they're talking about nature and the tree and equating the name to a tree. No wonder people worship trees. I never could understand that. Anyway, I'll move on. These considerations show that the name of the present magazine, rather unequivocal to orthodox Christian ears, is due to no careless selection, but arose in consequence of much thinking over its fitness and was adopted as the best symbol to express that object and the results in view. Oh, let me continue. We're getting into the Epistle of the Corinthians. Now, the first and most important, if not the sole object of the magazine, is expressed in the line from the first epistle to the Corinthians on its title page. It is to bring light to, quote, the hidden things of darkness, unquote. 
And then they have an IV period and a 5 in parentheses to show in their true aspect and their original real meaning things and names, men and their doings and customs. It is finally to fight prejudice, hypocrisy, and shams in every nation, in every class of society, as in every department of life. The task is a laborious one, but it is neither impracticable, impractic, hold on a minute, impracticable. I don't think that's still a word, impracticable, nor useless, if even as an experiment. Thus, for an attempt of such nature, no better title could ever be found than the one chosen. Lucifer is the pale morning star, the precursor of the full blaze of the noonday sun, the Eo, Eos, oh my goodness, some of these old words. Eosphoros of the Greeks. I might be saying that wrong. Eosphoros. I'll be sure to put the link in the description box. So if you want to study this better, you can. It shines timidly at dawn to gather forces and dazzle the eye after sunset as its own brother... Hespros, the radiant evening star, and that's all that's on here. Oh, and then it goes into Helen Blavatsky quotes praising Satan, and there's a hideous picture here, and it says Lucifer is not used here as a metaphor. They were literally Satanists, Luciferian, um, and I'm not going to read any more. There's more, oh my gosh, there's this guy drinking blood. Okay, I'm ending this here. Like I said, I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description box if you think you want to know more about this one. But I was hoping to be finding, I'm going to be looking for a site. In fact, I saw a picture. You know, you if you've ever looked at Google Images and you've tried to find an image that you want, I used one one time, and it'll have a word here, a word here, a word here, a word here, a word there, until it makes a block of words, and they were all words that had to do with the New Age. So I may just go back and read off a list of words that you can know if you hear, in fact, Jesus was on there. And when my daughter told me, when she got back from that chick time thing and said, oh, you were so wrong, I met the most Jesus-loving people ever. And... I wish I could remember where I read how, how I knew that maybe it was just the Holy Spirit showing me or revealing it in my spirit. They'll throw that word around, the name of our Lord and Savior, because they don't, they really think they're Christians on the right path, doing right, and of course, loving on little girls is doing right. You are doing the work of the Lord. You just... You can't do it in the name of Jesus and say you're doing it for Jesus, or maybe you can. I don't, I can't really think of the words I want to say. Maybe it's too late. I need to get off of here anyway. And um, 
Oh, wow. Way down here it says, The serpent, moreover, is not Satan, but the bright angel, one of the Elohim clothed in radiance and glory, who promising the woman that if they ate of the forbidden fruit, ye shall not surely die, kept his promise and made man immortal in his incorruptible nature. You see how the lie, they twist, that's a satanic quote from the secret doctrine Oh my goodness. Now I know where he gets it from. I may study the rest of this some more and do a part three on this. I may do that, but for now I'm going to end this when it's long enough. I plead the blood of Jesus over it, over myself. over the video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you who watch this and I pray that this is going to help somebody come out of the new age movement before you go too far into it that you don't want to come back bye for now I'll talk to you later